Pueblo is a town in southwestern United States. The courthouse was the third largest building in the state of Colorado. The construction started on it in 1910, 1911. We took a historic building that is difficult to achieve Energy Star status, and we've done it. Our biggest issue was we had a chiller and that was about 15 years old and a set of boilers that were really fighting each other. And we had both running all the time, all year. Never made any sense. It was a big eater of electricity. Ran up the price of uh, maintaining the building significantly. And uh, it uh, put off a lot of noise pollution. So our initial stab was to see if we could get a 5% energy cost reduction. Trains cutting edge, they're, they're ahead of us. So we say, well, there's something we'd like to accomplish. And they say, how would you like to go a little further than that? Talking to Train, they were the ones that initially suggested that we look at some different equipment, including thermal storage. Between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m., energy costs more money. We build ice at night, and then during the day, we run the chilled water just through the ice tanks and melt the ice. It's just the science, we were just fascinated with it, the ability to cool the air, utilizing power in an off-peak time, so we drive down the cost and then we put sound attenuation on it and actually move the location completely so that we have it sitting right next to the building where office space is and nobody can even hear it. U.S. communities allowed the project to be sole source to train. We were also able to finance the entire project. We were able to leverage the energy savings to help make the note payments. Controls played a very important part with this project. So with the train controls and the ice tanks and the chiller, we're able to tie it all together to optimize around the rate structure. Train will also have a five-year service agreement on the system where we're opening up the ice tanks annually to inspect them and to ensure that everything is operating correctly. There was one goal in mind, but I think we ended up you know, satisfying multiple goals in the end. In my town, uh, you have to link the environmental issues with the economics, as you have to show that there's actually a value to the public's wallet. They saw a 24% reduction in the overall bill, a 28% reduction in consumption, and an 18% reduction in demand.